All right, we got Jeffrey Ryan Kent. You play the lead Johnny Bash. Tell me about your character. Where does one begin? <laughs> he's a real dick. He is a dick. I think he's a lovable dick, though. So how did you get involved in the film? Uh, I've known David Willis over a decade. Remember he had this one creature feature that he, that he wrote called Supacabra, and a mutual friend of ours who's a line producer looked at it. And uh, we're like, what's the budget gonna be? And she's like, this is like a $20 million movie. And we're like, yeah, we're thinking more like, you know, $20, actually. So uh, Cicada was kind of born out of that. So he went back to the drawing board and wrote this like creature comedy that we could do on a shoestring budget. You went in as a producer from the ground level. Yes. And yes. you helped raise the money. And what was it like raising the money? Very difficult. I mean, you know, I, I think people have a misconception about, about crowdfunding that you just set up the site and you sit back and wait for money to trickle in. There's no difference to me than, say, going door to door asking people for money. You have to be that aggressive about it. Absolutely. But, you know, it was great because Dave, me, and Bo, who plays uh, Randy in the movie, the three of us kind of set up Cicada Central in my living room. And we had all these banks of computers set up. One guy's tweeting people, another person's following up, constantly blasting people with, you know, Cicada this, Cicada that. Just Did to... people think you were crazy? Oh, I'm sure we got blocked by everybody at some point. But that was just the thing, you had to be that aggressive to be able to make that amount of money in such a short period of time. I mean, 45 days sounds like a long time, but really when, it goes quick. In the film, your voice is dubbed over. <laughs> it's your voice, right? I don't know, maybe we can head to Vegas. Either way, I don't want to fucking stand around here and wait to get drained by one of those things. Dave made a choice in post that if we went back and kind of dubbed over ourselves, but did like, exaggerated versions of ourselves, it would kind of give it more of that B-movie, otherworldly quality. Like, even the first time I watched it after we did the dubs, I was like, whoa, what the hell was that? Bo had done this really, like, grovelly kind of thing. Whoa. And Cassandra was really over the top with her, so I told David, I don't know what to do, man. He's like, well, just really kind of like, you know, pop your chest out. You're just like really kind of blowing yourself up. So I just came up with like, hey, so, yeah. What if next time they're even bigger? It's super ridiculous, but I think it gives it that otherworldly quality. Yeah, you, you were so annoying. I felt. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. But no, I mean, it, it's really, it's more a testament to Dave's writing. I mean, he, because he knew my sense of humor, he could, like, write these zingers that just would leap off the page. My, my favorite line was when she, maybe I shouldn't say this, but she throws up and goes, hey, my cleats. <laughs> so, so funny. I remember that, because I looked at Dave, I'm like, I'm not even wearing cleats. He goes, Dad, don't worry about it. It's funny. It's funny. Do it. Do it. It's great. All right, cool, man. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. Everybody, go follow us on social, Instagram, Twitter, at Cicada the Movie. Do it.